We'll see a change in leadership after a series of complaints and inmate deaths. News 9's Felice Romero joins us live from the jail with the latest. Felice? It has certainly not been a good year for the jail. 15 inmates losing their life inside the detention center. The jail trust announcing a new interim CEO today after the resignation of Greg Williams. The Oklahoma County Detention Center is changing course. Our role now is to empower Brandy Garner. Announcing Brandy Gardner as the new interim CEO and jail administrator. I do not take this position lightly. There is a lot of hard work ahead of us. I look forward to working with the trust, the staff, the detainees, and community members to address and fix the issues affecting the jail and everyone who works and is held there. I've watched your work since you've been associated with the detention center here in Oklahoma City, and I've been impressed with you then, and I go into this as the interim you being the interim director with that same confidence that you can do it. The trust recognizing the growing scrutiny the jail has received over failed health inspections and inmate deaths. These are difficult circumstances and we recognize that and we're grateful that you're willing to step in and help during this transition period as interim CEO. Gardner has worked with several law enforcement agencies and comes to the role with experience as the director of security for OCDC and a background in jail administration. Since the moment that I met you, Brandy, I believe it was only two and a half to three months ago, uh, but immediately I saw a leader in the room. This is not an easy job, but it's a job that I wholeheartedly embrace the challenge. I believe in our mission, our people, and the goal of creating a facility that everyone can be proud of. The trust plans on expanding their search before naming a permanent CEO. They have not given a time for when that will happen. Reporting live in downtown Oklahoma City, Feliz Romero, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.